A man who was lying in a hospital bed was looking at the landscape outside his window. He reflected on the fact that no matter how beautiful the scenery was, it was boring to look at it every day. In fact, Yang Dang was diagnosed with brain cancer. He's only 26 years old, and he's just taken a position selling gold medals. The guy hasn't had time to enjoy life yet. He really didn't understand how he was diagnosed with mid-stage brain cancer. The guy really didn't want to die so early. What he realized was that he really wanted to live. The news was floating around the internet that while on the Zhengdu Bridge, an old beggar disappeared strangely without a trace, and then reappeared afterward and became the lost heir of the chairman. A man who was 130 years old in the village of Wanhua disappears every year as a result of mysterious rituals, and every time he returns he seems to be younger. Seven days after the disappearance of the great artist in his house, settled in a strange painting, which was sold at auction at an exorbitant price of 1 billion yuan, and later it turned out that all the pigments in the painting consisted of the artist's blood and flesh. He's been investigating a disappearance for the past month. The one who fails or returns gets a life winner or dies at the end. For a common coincidence that happened four times in a row, it's pretty strange. Therefore, there must be something in this world that cannot be expressed and can satisfy all human desires. That's why the guy's looking for it, because he can't just die like that. Suddenly, the system congratulated that this person who is full of wishes was chosen by the game duplicate. This guy's gonna be a player who has to go through the game and get points. He can get anything he wants, whether it's money, looks, even power that ordinary people can't get. The system asked what his wish was. It did come. The guy wished he wanted to survive. Blue Ball asked if he was then ready to enter the duplicate and become a dungeon player. Neither fear nor madness can disconnect him from the duplicate. Only death can set him free. The boy reflected that the report to his new life had already begun. He will be able to survive even if this life is accompanied by fear and madness. The guy announced that he was ready. The system notified that the contract had been finalized and the player's talent test began. The player is consistent in his words and deeds and has high moral character. He has awakened his talent, which is called a deceiver. After that, the determination of the player's talent and attributes began. This player is a cheater whose game nickname is Yang Huang. His words and deeds are consistent and his character is high and everyone will believe him. When he uses the talent, everything will be converted into probabilities of events and calculations will be made. This guy never lies, he is the lie. The hidden information about the first talent flashed through his mind. To determine the base event, his speech would enter judgment and the other party had a 50% chance of trusting him. If the judgment is successful, the affected person's corresponding consciousness and rules will be changed. If the judgment fails, it will become invalid. The information about the second talent was also hidden. Its statement when reaching the opposite event of state A and B, then regardless of whether the judgment is successful or not, it will change the relevant cognition and rules. It will receive informational feedback. His IQ was 1.7. A normal intelligence score is 1. His strength was 0.5 and the normal score is 1. Dexterity, 0.5. The guy's panel is rare, so he should rush into the game to try it out. The retrieval of the rookie copy began. He was congratulated on winning the first rookie dungeon. He got a single user copy of the incubation level. This is the hometown of geniuses with centuries of history, a place that countless people dream of. There are no residents here, for anyone who enters this city will become a dragon or phoenix, the social elite. They have the most perfect brains and talents in the world. Those who leave here are world-renowned. Now, as a player, he was lucky enough to be hatched. The system invited him to learn their culture and its secrets. As night falls, the beautiful city of Hatch is plunged into a mysterious silence. If this player wants to survive, he must not sleep too deeply and get too close to the darkness. Deadline to complete copy editing is three days. The system sent him a friendly reminder that his copying process had been brought into the live room according to the process. He could receive real-time data directly into his brain. The system comprehensively recommends it live to other players in real time, based on various data, based on the difficulty of copying the live broadcast. Meeting the audience's demands, and getting rewarded, is also a good way to survive. The game is finally starting. The protagonist wakes up in some kind of car, after which the guy looked at his face. He recognized the fact that it had indeed been a long time coming. Also, Yang Huang recalled that the system said you could watch the live broadcast as well. A system window appeared with a notification that only one person was currently watching this broadcast. 
This person wrote a message that this newcomer to the incubation capital, and for some reason laughed off this panel. The system reported that passerby A had reposted this live broadcast. A passerby B walked in on his broadcast. Passerby A replied that this was indeed the worst panel he had ever seen. It's even worse than a child's. He is definitely going to die. Passerby B wrote that Hatchery City is the most difficult dungeon for beginners among other dungeons. No one made it to the end. Passerby A advised him to just go kill himself and forget about the game. These passersby started giving him advice, after which the two men had already left. The guy wondered if his panel was really as bad as they said it was. But to his eyes it looked okay. The driver turned to him and addressed the gentleman. The boy was scared out of his wits. The driver reported that they had already arrived at the hatch town so he could get out. He was approached by a man named Lao Se, who informed him that they would be responsible for his food and lodging for the next few days. The woman replied that teacher Yang was really handsome and talented. She introduced a kid named Fu Mu, who had read a lot of the main character's articles. Fu Mu wants to be like Yang Huan and become a beautiful person. The woman suggested the guy to come up and say hello to the teacher Yang. The main character thought that this guy looked very shy at first glance. The woman asked what happened at Fu Mu's place and why he was still silent. She again told the kid to say hello to teacher Yang. Fu Mu greeted the teacher. Lao Xie replied that there was no need to pay attention to this very shy guy. Yang Huang replied that he didn't mind and suggested that he go back to the hotel first. But the look of the main character, it seemed to him that this family was getting along very well. He thought it was really cute. As they were walking through town, he noticed a huge hole. The kid wondered if it was a meteorite. Lao Si replied that it is a stone of genius that grows right out of the ground. They create geniuses in this town, all thanks to this stone. With the appearance of this stone of genius, children in this city have become especially carefree. He can approach the stone when he has time and bless his future child to become an outstanding individual. The guy recognized that it was really cool. Although he thought that this stone was no different from the usual ones, it was too big and smooth. They entered the house, and on the bulletin board he saw a report of someone missing. All of the missing people were not from around here and blamed themselves for not being able to find their way and run fast. Although the city helped by posting a notice that they were missing, no one ever found them. Therefore Mr. Yang must be obedient and not run away. Otherwise, if he gets lost, no one will find him. Of course, the protagonist knows exactly why he came here and will not run around chaotically. It was as if he believed this ghost, that all the missing people were not from around here. He went up to the second floor and wanted to go into his room. After that, the kid noticed he was being watched by a neighbor. He greeted this neighbor, but this neighbor only closed the door on his greeting. The protagonist thought he was somehow unfriendly. He walked into his room and admitted it was pretty good. Suddenly he heard something. The boy ran at that sound, wondering if something was wrong. A picture appeared in front of his eyes of Fu Mu saying that he can't be trusted to do extra work that even children can handle. He sees that the other children have been successful, which is not the case with him. She didn't understand how he had lived to see this day. The woman told him to just sit there. Lao Si recalled that he couldn't even say hello today and wondered what was going through this guy's mind all day. He also inquired when he would hunt to save their funds. He was told to hurry up and remove that glass. The protagonist realized that those were the sounds of a broken vase. The man grabbed his ear and asked if he was deaf. He swung around to hit the Fu Mu. The kid remarked that with that much force of impact, there could be an accident. He stood up for Fu Mu and Hua Hua and Feng Zhao Tian walked in on his live broadcast. As many as 48 people showed up for his broadcast. The kid picked up on the fact that he was dizzy and thought it was because of his low attributes. The system congratulated the player on his achievement, stating that 50 people were watching his broadcast at the same time. He was awarded 10 prize points. His stats had increased slightly. Therefore, he could receive the recommendation of a level 5 player. He can check out the characteristics in the sidebar window. Hua Hua hadn't seen anyone dare to block that slap in a long time. This is supposed to trigger the plot. Feng Xiaotian replied that his characterization was low, and that was very bad. If he didn't die from the slap, he would definitely die later. Madman wrote that he hadn't seen any newcomers in the plot for a long time, as the last ones in his memory had died. The main character didn't realize what plot they were talking about. The expression on the man's face immediately changed, and he asked the teacher why he was here. He thought the teacher must be in pain and asked to be allowed to rub the medicine in, but the boy refused. He asked the old man see why he had decided to punish the child and do it in broad daylight. The man replied that Fu Mu was always very clumsy, 
so he had to teach him a lesson so that he would remember it. A man asked if the protagonist was feeling bad after the block. The woman said she was now going to get Yang Huan's medicine. The kid replied that it's okay, so it's not necessary. He also pointed out that children do not always need to be brought up in this way. Playing with him would be silly. The woman leaned over to her son and explained that mom and dad were indeed a little impulsive today. So she apologized to him. She also told the kid to thank his teacher Jan. Fu Mu did what his mom asked him to do and advised him to stay out of it. Next time in their family affairs, the woman replied that this child was indeed ignorant. This boy needs to finish his homework, so he's going to say goodbye to Yang Huan. The man replied that teacher Yang is a smart man, but sometimes it's worth it to worry about yourself too. The food should be ready by now, so he'll move him a portion as an apology. The woman yelled how old he even was, that he was even still hatching a loser. That could be counted as a loss at the start. The boy should look at the neighborhood kids who were promising, and this kid is just an embarrassment to his own parents. The protagonist wondered what this incubation meant. Lao Se told the boy to follow him, for he would take him to the room. He inquired in Teacher Jan good or bad if people have curiosity. The kid told the system to open a mall for points. Los feels that curiosity is a good thing, but everything should be equal, and accidents often happen because of it. He found a full-screen low-level detection. It's worth five points. The field of vision can be placed in an area all information about what is happening in the field of vision within a 10-meter radius will be received by his brain within 30 minutes. The guy thinks this ability will help. A man turned to him and asked the teacher Yang if he was listening to him at all. And the protagonist replied that the man was speaking very intelligently. The man handed him the food and replied that it didn't matter. Yang Huang used low-level full-screen detection. Lao Shi pointed out that it's okay if the guy doesn't listen. It is useless to talk to him for a long time. Either way, it would be extremely difficult for him to get that opportunity in the future. The protagonist noticed that the man had a kitchen knife behind his back, and he remarked that this ability was interesting and quite useful. 89 spectators had already gathered to watch the whole thing. They wrote about how the plot has already started. Also someone wrote that this newbie is smart. He realized in time that something was wrong and bought a full screen detector. But with his attributes, he still won't survive. When your time comes, Uncle C will give chase and chase the protagonist. And if he catches him, he'll kill him. The protagonist asked if he would be safe all the time while he was in town. The system reported that this is a false judgment. This is the opposite event, an untenable judgment. As a result, the recipient's rules were changed and informational feedback was given. The man replied that the protagonist would not survive for three days in this city. If he was lucky, he would be able to go to Yin Difu today and meet his brothers, sisters, and King Hades. There were now 120 spectators. They did not understand what had happened and why Uncle Sai answered him honestly. War Kao and San Shan walked into the live broadcast. The boy asked the man if he would then be perfectly safe at the hotel. That one again failed to get his knife out. The system reported that this judgment was false. As a result, the recipient rules were changed again. The audience was now 198 people. This guy is really good if he stopped his uncle twice. Also, they didn't realize what's up with the main character's statements. Did he buy some sort of countercurrent skill that causes the plot to stop every time? Someone thought that it had something to do with the rookie's talent. But the one replied that his talent of cheating was useless. Even if he got stuck now, he would die later. The system has congratulated the presenter on an achievement in the live broadcast room. He needs to upgrade the panel to get the reward for the online task, namely 200 people on the broadcast. Due to the improvement of the live broadcast, it has been systemically recommended to level four players, which increases the presenter's reward. This guy was really very lucky indeed, as he got into the tier four recommendations, but there probably won't be a next time. Someone bet 10 points that if this guy could avoid the conspiracy this time, it would reward him directly. That's a pretty good reward. This time the guy asked Jilao what exactly was being hatched, but the system sent him a red card warning. The player had seriously violated the rules and limited his talent. When it comes to important story parts of the dungeon, the talent cannot be activated. He must not use his talent for normal passing. If he receives three red cards, he will be delayed for a check. But by purchasing a Sin Purifier for a thousand points, he will be able to clear all his red cards. The price of the Sin Purifier will increase with each purchase. The number of spectators increased to 500 people. Someone didn't understand what had just happened and why the rookie was given a red card. 
There was even a question as to whether this guy was definitely a rookie. Someone answered that this rookie is not a rookie, and maybe he will even make it to the top of the mid-rookie list. The system sent a notification that his broadcast was recommended for third-level players in the Senior Rising Star category. It also sent a notification that judging lies is abnormal and judgment is invalid. The man asked, this isn't something the protagonist should know, so why is he asking about it? Xie Lao asked if it could be that he wanted to know something or if he already knew it. Yang Huang replied that the name of the incubator city sounded unique. It was just a random question. Teacher Yang really is a man of taste. The protagonist thanked the man for it. Xi Lao again pointed out that Mr. Yang was a good person and really deserved praise. The boy said that even though he and his uncle had a good relationship, there was something wrong. This man is getting too close and he has a wife and children. He must avoid suspicion. But Teacher Yang is wrong to say all this. What he wants to tell the protagonist is that Teacher Yang's taste is so good. How about letting that wonderful flavor stay in the moment forever? When the man finally showed the cleaver, everyone was excited. Someone even took a screenshot, because he had not seen such a thing for a long time. The protagonist wondered if this cleaver was a gift for him from Uncle C. The system started evaluating the probability of the event. It reported false and a successful event. The result was a cognitive change in the subject. The system has congratulated player Ian on obtaining the item Kitchen Cleaver Beloved Father. Lao Xie replied that he had prepared this gift, especially for Teacher Yang. So he asked to accept it. The quality of this kitchen cleaver of my father's favorite was F. There were no requirements for use. Of the attributes was that it was sharp. Seifumu is a loving father. He needs this cleaver so that he can use his cooking skills. He kills everyone who gets in his way. They were accidents. There were as many as 1,743 people watching the broadcast. The system congratulated the player for reaching 1,000 people watching. As a reward, he was given 100 points. An unknown person wrote what just happened and what talent this guy had. A spectator wrote that he was withholding all information and wanted to buy him for 1,000 points. The system also congratulated the player for getting the catch a knife achievement. As a reward, he was given 0.5 strength and dexterity. Others didn't understand how this kid got this item so easily. He read the manual, but he doesn't have this cleaver. If this newbie can pass this dungeon, he will take it to his guild. And the other person wrote that he had just opened his eyes, and so he didn't understand how Yang Huang did it at all. The overall quality of the live broadcast has been improved, and the live broadcast room is now recommended to second-level beginners in the main recommendations. Hua Hua sent the main character 10 points. Hei Rui Gu sent him 5 points. In total, he had already earned 473 points. Also, the system reported that his push traffic is huge. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The system asked him to be a good player. Lao Zia replied that if Teacher Yang didn't need anything else, he would come down and not interfere with his meal. The kid thanked him for his concern. Lao Xi asked who among them still had to say thank you. The kid thought that was right because after all, this man wanted to kill him. Thanking him would be too extravagant. Even though he now had 473 points, even though it wasn't much, it was definitely enough to buy something to eat. The kid noticed that the prices of things in the store had doubled. Someone thought about how much ability costs now. After all, everyone started out that way. The deepest routine was the routine of earning points. At that time, someone was also disgusted with the store. The more points you have, the higher the prices of certain items, even now materials are expensive even now. They noticed that the kid spent 50 points to buy grilled chicken and beer. This kid is still young and carefree and doesn't know how hard it is to earn points. Expensive fried chicken has an increased satiety. It also slows down the need for sleep. The regular beer had an increased boldness and an increased ability to resist pressure. The system sent him an introduction that if he was afraid he should drink beer, if he accidentally drank too much, no wonder such an undisciplined person would die. He thought about the fact that it must not be safe at night. Buffs of this food would be just fine. He pondered whether there would be any more surprises at 12 o'clock at night. Now they would find the clock at 23.59. Suddenly someone knocked on his door. After all, he thought, bad people should commit crimes logically. So it was unclear why they were still knocking politely on the door. Or maybe there's no way it can get in from the outside. Meanwhile, the number of viewers at his live broadcast increased to 2010. The system congratulated the player for achieving the achievement of having 2,000 people watching him on the same screen. Someone wrote that this kid was on time at 12 o'clock sharp. Even he's lying on the bed now, and it's scary. 
It's been a long time since they've seen anyone go this way in the hatching capital, because almost everyone dies. They wanted to see this newcomer settle everything again. That thing outside is trying to kick the door in. He's definitely not supposed to let that stuff in. He realized that one table would not be enough, so the kid moved the bed in there too. The man also thought about the fact that if this thing stopped hitting, he could jump out the window. But suddenly the knocking was gone. The protagonist decided to improve his night vision ability. After he did, he climbed up on the nightstand across the bed to look through the peephole in the door. But the truth was, there was no one there at all. The guy couldn't believe it, was he really gone? But suddenly he saw someone's eye. And there wasn't even one eye. And the main character didn't realize what was going on at all. This monster started banging on the other door. This man said it wasn't his turn tonight. Then he mentioned that he had to go to the door across the hall. This account really knows something. But if he does, then why didn't he leave? But this monster kept wanting to get through that door. The man shouted that he would not speak to him today. It wasn't him. He started to get angry. Whereupon the creature destroyed that door. The man yelled for him to stay back. The man explained that it wasn't him. This person really didn't understand why it was him. After which he offered to let the monster do everything tomorrow. Tomorrow the man would give him something to eat. There's not even a need to feed him tomorrow. The man asked to be given at least 30 seconds. He begged this monster to at least give him 10 seconds. He was almost done. It promised to attract more visitors, so he asked them not to eat it. All he needs is just 10 seconds. But the creature didn't even think of listening to him. After which the man began to glow brightly. The main character noticed that as soon as the man touched him, he immediately turned into an egg. It was a good thing he was careful enough. Or else hers would have ended up on the floor and become that egg itself. The creature drank all the liquid. It then closed its eyes, and something began to hatch there. The protagonist's hand immediately had the kitchen knife of a loving father. He realized that something was about to come out. A man appeared there. That person was Fumu. The boy wondered if he hadn't been fine this afternoon and why he was now out of that eye. Is that what they call incubation? So when they hatch, they're still human. The boy wondered if the Fumu was still himself after the hatching. He saw that this guy was holding on manifestation right up to his room. Young Dun didn't realize what he was about to do. Fumu probably knows that the protagonist was spying on them. If this guy doesn't come in here, the protagonist will just kill him. Things were obviously bad. The guy immediately started running away from the door whose peephole was about to collapse. Ugh, well asked who will be next. And that person would be the protagonist. Fumu only laughed hilariously. The guy realized he needed to fight him, but it wasn't clear why Fumu had left. Because of such an unusual speed, one might well make the assumption that he was a monster. The system was congratulating him on his achievement of having 5,000 people on the streamer at the same time. As a reward, he was given 500 points. He also got an achievement called Witness the Hatching. As a reward, he was given a 0.1 increase in all attributes. When he looked at his performance bar, the system wrote that after a full day of testing, his bar finally looks better. But it was still low compared to the other players, so he had to keep swinging further. Meanwhile, he had 5,733 people on his live broadcast. Someone wrote that it was very scary, and he had never seen such a thing before. He can't even breathe normally. The other man, however, asked if this was some kind of covert mission. He was caught off guard. The presenter is very mentally strong, if he has the courage to keep looking through the slit. Someone has found out that something has changed in the city, and he needs to reward the presenter. Otherwise, he won't be able to watch the rest of the stream if this guy dies before his time. Of course, sleep was out of the question today, but neither was idleness. The guy wondered if he would even be able to last until the very end. The system reported that now his stream recommends players of the first level in the main square. This recommendation have a lot of traffic, so he must try to maintain the stability of the data. Others watch the stream of this pure beginner. His skill awareness is better than those who have gone through several dungeons already. Looks like there's going to be a lot of competition in this issue. But the other person wanted to see the last newcomer. The girl was sure the doctor would have noticed the catch. She thought he'd already joined the tarot. The king is still trying to train the doctor to be the next pope. And the resources he has at his disposal are so great that if the guy were targeted, he'd be dead by now. Suddenly the man touched his shoulder. He thought someone was talking about him and decided to listen to it. It was the same doctor. The doctor acknowledged that this rookie is great. The blood roses from this wonderful newcomer's blood must be just beautiful. Wouldn't he like to give them to Lina? But he wouldn't do something so cruel. The doctor asked the man what he thought about it. Suddenly that guy started coughing up blood. The doctor apologized for seeming to push this guy too hard. But now that it's already happened, 
There's nothing he can do about it. So all he can do is sleep in peace. The doctor's comment was that this spine is too ugly. The system has given him one warning with a red card. The player Dr. Lin Ki has committed a serious offense. Therefore, he must go to the punishment cell immediately. This system was too loud for him. Lin Ki bought the Sin Purification Solution for 100,000 points. He started spraying himself with the solution. Others said that this doctor was too rich. He spent all those points in an instant. It seems that his talent for tarot is really appreciated. There was a girl walking toward him. He immediately recognized who it was and turned his attention to her. It was Lina. Lin Chi was immediately overjoyed and asked if she had really come to see him. She, however, replied that this doctor should stay away from her or he would die a horrible death. If she does it with her own hands, he doesn't even care if he dies or not. He's ready for it. Lina called him a disgusting pervert and yelled at him not to touch her. She then stepped on his foot with her heel. The doctor immediately knelt down on his knees. He liked the feeling he was getting too much. Lin Chi immediately ran after Lina. The others started discussing the fact that this girl is really the best actress, since that crazy doctor loves her. She wasn't very high in tarot, but she's gaining popularity very rapidly. It's probably because of the doctor's love for her. Tarot should be used as a counterbalance to the doctor. The guy, on the other hand, had noticed that Fumu hadn't tried to kill him at least today. He can't waste time, so he has to go further and find out more. He has only one life, and it should be well provided for with the remaining 1,479 points. The system reported that the props had been converted successfully. The main character smelled a terrible stench. He wondered how he had managed to live here before, and how a person could even live in this place. This Sifumu stinks so bad, it wasn't clear how he could even eat here. The guy immediately went to his computer. He couldn't even believe that he could find the clue so easily. According to the current Incubator City chronology, the diary was updated on the 1st of June in the year 2121. That is, it was updated a year ago. The future famous writer Tan Shin wrote that he had finally arrived in the legendary Incubator City that had produced world-famous geniuses. He thought it would be a very strict city, but it turned out to be a spacious and hospitable place. In the entry for the 3rd of June, he began to notice that this town was a little strange. He noticed that the deputy boss always has a beating and didn't realize if that was normal. He heard the boss's wife, and the boss called him an alien today. But the deputy looks very grim. The June 7th entry said that the hallway was much quieter. The neighbors must have moved out lately. He can't hear them at all. He us excited to start writing a new book. He also mentioned that the deputy was beaten up again, and he also heard some bad noises. Such cruel parents will be in his book for he is not afraid of beating a child in self-consciousness. But he vaguely heard two words and didn't know what they meant, so he went to the boss. But the man told him to bugger off. The entry for June 10th said that this hostel was definitely not normal. As he slept, he heard a loud and constant knocking on the door. He looked through the peephole and saw not a person, but some kind of monster. It was made up of egg eyes. That's too disgusting. When the monster touched the man, it just turned into some kind of liquid and was swallowed. He saw this egg break, and a child came out of it. It was someone from the town. He would correctly recall seeing this person two days ago. His parents were scolding him that he needed to get nutrients and he wasn't consuming enough. This man definitely realized that it was time for him to leave this city, and he decided to do it in the morning. He wanted to ask for help online, but he can't post anything related to asking for help or information about the incubator city. He smashed his keyboard. The man doesn't want to die and is afraid to leave his room. But if he stays here, he will die sooner or later. Tonight, another egg appeared. His neighbor has fallen victim to this monster. The baby that came out of the egg the night before could add, subtract, multiply, or divide within a hundred. The man didn't understand if this was incubation and this was how geniuses were born. What is even going on in this town? It's not even scientific. Today was his neighbor, but the next guy thought that for sure it would be himself. On June 12, 2121st, he became food. The guy guessed that all the geniuses of the city are monsters that resulted from incubation. They excel in all fields and eventually become what their parents wanted them to be when they were children. Everything else is just a lot of self-pity. Even at such times, he tries to write down in his diary his own thoughts and ideas about the new book. The boy wondered if all authors nowadays are so devoted to their work. But suddenly the kid noticed something. On May 30th, he finished his book, and now he could finally settle down. It was his only book. A work he wrote while accumulating sins. 
It was a shame that whatever would be written could only be published with their permission. But that's okay, because he's going to die anyway. Tang Xin knew he was going to die, but the guy wondered then why he had spent the last 10 seconds crying and pleading. Judging from the diary, you can clearly read the relief between the lines. He was clearly looking forward to the day of his death. He noticed another file on his computer. People see cruelty as a tough shell covering everything that people call real. That which pleases a standard, a certain world. The template that there is growth and life. He would like to dedicate this book to the second half of his life. Tang Xin Newborn. It turns out that the protagonist of this story is himself. This man is trying to point out something. At the beginning and end of each month, they will perform a sacred ritual praying to the gods they believe in. All to gain the power they desire. They know it's a path to the abyss, but they're willing to plunge into it. The terms of the ritual are one wish, one obedience. If the ritual is successful, the person will be granted life. It seems the god they worship is the Stone of Talent. No wonder his pleas only lasted 10 seconds. Turns out this recording is not finished, and there's a dot missing at the end. It's missing the end. This is his new book. A book written by his sins and the time for which he has become a servant spirit. The love of his life is writing, and it will die when he writes. There was really a dot missing at the end of the last sentence. Tang Xin has given too much to this book. He must regret not finishing it and writing the ending. Then he died. The protagonist has finalized that this is his new book. The price of his becoming a servant spirit would be the abandonment of his love of writing and life, after which he wrote the ending. A famous writer that laid his sins and time at the feet of success and created the only and unknown work of his life. He is a funny, sad, hate-filled man. There is no escape for him in his next life. The last lines that the main character finished began to come off the computer screen. The system congratulated the player Yang Huang for obtaining the item New Tang Xin Book. Tang Xin is an adventurer, a famous writer of the future, which he unfortunately doesn't have. If the dungeon shows 50% of the monster's information, the book will record all 100%. There were also records about the incubation city. Someone described in the comments that another item of unknown quality appeared. And also, you can unlock 100% of the information when only 50 is known. He asked if this guy was interested in selling it. He would buy this item for 100,000 points. He also noticed why the Incubation City record is blocked, and where the line in the Incubation City came from in the first place. The Incubation City was children. Their strength, agility, and intelligence were average. And they had no talent. They were ordinary people with unbridled souls that didn't seem so without special talents. Incubation City is a talent that is in the process of hatching. Now there was a talent there called absorption. Namely the transformation of the person the individual comes in contact with into a nutrient solution. An arrogant soul worn down by reality. A perfect child awaiting its hatching, scrutinizing the world from within. There may still be a struggle in their hearts. But one thing is undeniable. They are waiting for them as food that will give them new life. Incubation City. Talent that has hatched fulfills their parents' wish to grow up to be an outstanding person, as they had expected. They have finally become worthy children in the eyes of their parents. They are undoubtedly geniuses and wonderful children. Good kids should be obeyed. The boy noticed that the characteristics were getting higher and the intelligence scores were getting lower. He wondered if this was a perfect human being or a puppet given as a payoff to outsiders. But it's not good to know too much. The woman explained to teacher Ian that curiosity makes cats die. The main character, I realized this as I sat down at the computer, but he wasn't even finished yet. He asked me if he was so eager to kill someone. The woman replied that smart people like that teacher don't get stuck with that one forever. Not like that idiot. The smarter a person is, the tastier they are. Smart people are a nutrient of a rare class. The woman swung her weapon at him and asked what his last word would be. The guy replied that he had a dap question that he would like to discuss. The woman agreed to it since the food would still taste good. She touched his chin and asked him what he wanted to ask you. She would be happy to answer his questions. He just wondered if Lao Si and Su Fu Mu knew that he was so smart and why she was the only one here. The woman asked if he was so concerned that she would be the one to eat it. She also added that everyone knows that she is acting for the benefit of the children. He really should have been eaten by Fu Mu, but that stupid child ate Tan Shin. She doesn't even know what to do with this unwise child. But it doesn't matter, because it's in an incubation town, 
so it will become food for the babies anyway. Lao Xi didn't know that he had taken the wrong medicine today, so he asked her to deal with this kid on her own. The guy behind him had a knife too, and he also wanted to know something. Namely, whether a woman is capable of withstanding such a blow. The weapon fell from her hands. She asked him where he got the kitchen knife. The guy apologized to his sister for hitting her, which must have hurt. He was too scared, so he hit her. Next time he will be careful and hit more gently. She was about to answer him something, but the guy interrupted her. Yang Huan thinks that she won't live long, so he will try to answer all her questions. She grabbed his hand and asked him where he got the Lao Si knife from. The protagonist replied that the knife was a gift from her husband. He then threw off her hand. He regrets having to kill a woman with that particular knife. But now he has all his questions answered. He wished this woman to rest in peace, whereupon she fell. The guy wiping his glasses asked who was now the prey. Either way, he's not someone who's going to go all the way. He opened a new book, Tan Sinha. The incubation period is the parents. Their talent was manipulation. They create life. They believe in the power of whips. It's nice to think that only with a whip in hand can you raise a respectful son, a true genius. Too bad they don't give their parents the whip to be themselves. But who says it's not for their own good? The guy didn't understand what it was about parents and children in general. Manipulation is total control over genius. It is love, and it is slavery. Alas, the fate of the chicken that has escaped its shell is unenviable. The guy lifted the woman in his arms and said he was sorry he killed her. He placed it among the other bags. Meanwhile, there were already 7,468 people on his broadcast. They were praising this crook. He had pulled off a series of murders that was unbelievable. Honestly, he thought that the protagonist had been lucky before, that he was just smart, but he was also good in battle. No wonder the system identified him as a rogue. Now that the newbies are getting dodgier, how powerful is this creep? And someone pointed out that the corpse may be real, but the case itself is weird. It was 0330 on the clock. He noticed that people were beginning to gather around the stone and wondered if this was the ritual. The guy realized there was no other way and needed to join them. He tried his best to blend in with them. There were already 8,456 people watching him. He was definitely a brave man if he went forward and wasn't even afraid. The rookie's defense mechanism had clearly reminded him not to do so, but he was far from being a coward. Would the method of following the crowd really work? If not, the losses would be too great. This is really creepy. Someone's face is already numb with fear. There were 9,057 people online. This newcomer was really quite good at blending in. But if something happened to him, it would be very unfortunate. It looks like he's going to watch the ritual itself. Even though it's kind of scary, it's also appealing at the same time. Already someone has seen the ritual in this city before, but was shocked they didn't even take a screenshot. There were already 10,000 viewers online. The system congratulated the player for completing a task called 10,000 viewers online. As a reward, he received 1,000 points. He also completed the task Egg Walk, he received one expendable prop. The system congratulated the players for the stable live streaming connection and gave recommendations for beginners, namely the beginners promotion package. It was like everyone really started praying to that rock. He really didn't think the genius stone would be so huge and strange. Is this really what the whole ritual is all about? The feeling of that light was too strange for him. It was an assimilation that advanced as much as 1%. God said that humans were not enough and many other creatures came along. They make the world and people better. When the process indicator reaches 100%, he will move to a higher level of life. But will he be able to be sure after the revolution that he is it? If he is curious to know the answer to this question, he can cancel assimilation. For any questions, he can contact the help center. It seems to him that after a long stay under this light, he will be a carefree guest. Since he needs to keep his sanity, he decided to use the system's full-screen view extension. Their child longs for salvation. A child in the process of perfection. May he become a scientist. May he succeed. He must become the greatest. They asked God to give him talent and strength in this challenging time. The parents asked to change their child in this challenging time and make him the greatest himself. Suddenly, he heard the sound of a heartbeat from somewhere. The boy looked up at the genius stone and realized it was from there. But it wasn't even a rock, it was all incubators. He can no longer continue to blend in with the crowd. One eye appeared in each of the eggs. Now they realized that there was a little mouse among them. The man hadn't seen Teacher Jan for a few hours, so he was glad to meet him. He looks pretty good. 
so the man assumed that he had learned something important. Looks like Teacher Yang came to them with good news. But first of all, the guy should apologize. The man inquired as to what he was talking about. A medallion appeared in his hands, and he apologized for killing his wife. He threw the object to the other eggs and hoped the man could forgive him. Although it wasn't that important, there was still no getting his wife back. Lao Xie was furious and asked how he even dared to kill her. He asked God to give them the right to kill the bastard. And this stone even seemed to respond to his request in some way. The man thanked the gentleman. They'll kill this bastard and let him feed on the nutrient solution. They all began to pray again. Some kind of energy got into the eggs the kids were sitting in. Teacher Yang can't escape now. He better accept his fate and become lunch for the kids. Someone in the audience wrote that it's worth it, so let it be. Would this rogue just die after all the things he had done? Someone was sure that this rookie would definitely die. Suddenly the spectators, as well as the rest of the monsters, heard something. They didn't realize what the sound was at all. Someone asked for an explanation of what was even happening now. A parent could be heard screaming that this just couldn't be happening. This child was hatched with such difficulty. Will they now have to spend again to perform the ritual again? The protagonist must feed his next child. Someone started chopping up all those eggs. Of course, if you don't come in direct contact with it, the problem won't arise. It was the main character. He explained that broken things equals food. The guy even commented that it tasted pretty good. The onlookers were also out before the cleverness, because a second ago he was in danger. Someone saw what this guy had actually done. He even got off easy. Another person, however, is seeing something like this for the first time. He's never seen someone so brave in his life. Turns out this new guy was just faking it, and they really thought he was about to die. The people of the town began to call him a cursed blasphemer. He would surely die. The boy wondered if they really thought so. Then he will gladly see which one of them dies first. If he does not deal with them, he will not be able to live a decent life. Suddenly the kid felt like those eggs were about to hatch. After hatching, the characteristics, strength, and agility of a genius are three times that of a normal human. If he lets them hatch, it's all over. In his head he heard a voice saying that he must not run away and meekly accept the blessing. He must coexist with them. If he joins them, they will raise brilliant children together. He'd better become one of them, because the teacher won't be able to hide. His future children will also become geniuses. The system reported that the assimilation process was 60% advanced. The closer it is to this giant egg, the faster assimilation occurs. The guy realized he needed to protect his sanity. He began to rise. But then a hand emerged from the egg to hold his leg. He stabbed that egg with his knife, but he failed to get his weapon out. He also pointed out that geniuses were beginning to hatch. Even the man who was holding his leg was about to hatch. The boy wondered if these were the real monsters. He already has virtually no chance of winning, and there are just as many other people behind him. Yang Huang wondered if this was the tripled strength and agility. He needs to drink on those places that are definitely vulnerable. That's why the protagonist wanted to deal with the monster that held him. The kid thought he had it all worked out, but apparently that monster wasn't thinking of giving up. If he tries to dodge, he's sure to get caught. The protagonist got a hit. The kid gripped his body painfully. He knew that assimilation had already reached 85%. He just can't die here. Running away from these monsters, his thoughts were filled with the fact that he doesn't want to die. The protagonist wants to live. He'd give anything to stay alive. Someone wondered if this newcomer is that skilled or lucky, but his fighting skills are definitely on point. Someone posted a friendly reminder to viewers to remember to breathe while watching. Another commenter thanked the guy for the reminder, because he really did almost choke. A con man certainly can't just die like that. He has to evolve, because he is quite interesting to watch. One suspected that this rookie would be able to pull it off. Incubation City would get A rank, or even higher. Assimilation progress has reached 89%, but it's still still not enough to completely cover his body for now. He made his way out to his parents, who for some reason were just standing still. The guy also didn't understand why they weren't attacking him or even retreating. Shouldn't they be doing something about it? having total control over the kids. He realized he had to take a risk. He was able to jump before they grabbed him. The kid realized he was going to die, but this freak he also wanted to take with him. Assimilation progress had reached 93%. That was too fast. The main character recalled that he had said that before, hadn't he? He would really like to see which one of them would die first. Lao Xi asked, did this kid really think that he would be allowed to die? Yang Huang realized he would either pass out or this kid would break his neck in half with one punch. Or he would miss and hit the nasty old man. Assimilation progress has reached 
They're dead anyway, so it's no big deal if he takes someone with him. He threw his knife. That knife went through the man's neck. The kid was betting that he was now out of parental control. Viewers have been writing about how it's all over now. This newcomer is definitely going to die. There's no saving him this time. But this rogue must go to the end. The number of online viewers rose to 12,734. It's impossible that the cheater died really so. But no matter how good he was before, playing a copy is a mistake. You can't recover from something like that. It's a shame he died so needlessly. He had planned to keep watching this newcomer. But if he had died, the broadcast would have just closed, and they wouldn't be discussing his death now. Even the copy of Incubation City is still locked down. Someone said to watch the replay, because it seems like the rookie said something right before the hit. The copy was noted for its excellent combat and skirmishes and stable online. There was evidence of a recommendation for promotion to level 2 for Spectacle. He was given one minute to do so. The second level of the homepage. Highlights are marked by excellent traffic and given recommendations for promotion for a special category. The system hopes that players will continue to work endlessly hard. A newbie who downloaded the book for the first time got a recommendation. Isn't that too much for a newbie? This is the first time anyone has seen something like this. Why on earth had the system decided it was entitled to an extra boost to key moments in the game? He didn't understand what was so special about this newcomer. He had just watched the replays and the rookie actually said something before the punch. Someone asked who could read lips and what he said. As it turned out, the main character pronounced that he had just faked his death. Suddenly he became inflamed. That fire was supposed to destroy all living things. The spectator wrote that they had just been lied to all this time. He seemed to have just suddenly realized exactly what kind of item the newcomer had acquired before going to the Dan Shin room. Let the audience cheer and he'll be alive. The understudy doll is a pretty useful prop. He even made it back to the hotel in time. I can't believe this prop can even be used like this. He just timed it perfectly. In any case, he couldn't both successfully escape and kill old man Z. Is this really staggering? No wonder it abruptly with the key points is so cool. He was sure that this mission would make it into the Hall of Fame. That rogue really had them all wrapped around his finger. It seemed to the kid, or maybe the knife had changed somehow after killing the old man. Now, it was a knife in family harmony. No one knows that loving parents often get angry at night because of dissatisfaction with their own children. Why is it that other people's children are always better? Maybe the problem is in the genes. Because of his genes, something is wrong with the child. So the owner stabbed himself and his spouse with this knife, and Harmony reigned in the family. The family Harmony knife successfully deals damage and randomly inflicts the effects of exhaustion, blood loss, or infection on the target. Now this knife was much better after the evolution. After last night, he was finally convinced of one thing. The child is under the complete control of the parent. If the parent dies, the child is free. And even though the parents may control the child, it is not difficult to kill them. And the child gains strength and agility, because of which he loses intelligence. Dealing with the combination of being attacked by a parent and a child is nearly impossible. But even if you start with the parent, it won't work either. As for battling the parent alone, today he will learn the answer to that question. And will also put an end to the incubation town. Before night falls, he must find a place to hide. He decided to go to the basement. The guy started to descend, holding onto the wall. And now he's onto something. It was a room that had just opened up. It turns out that this passageway that leads to the basement is the Chamber of Secrets. The place doesn't have much to offer, but it looks pretty safe. It was written on the wall that this was the home of Seifu Mu. It has come to the protagonist's attention that this is his secret hideout. The boy held up the glued drawing in front of him. And then he noticed the sheets of paper. Entry dated June 1st, 2115. Mom and Dad will be at the ceremony to pray for him. At school, his drawing was praised and he decided to show it to his parents. However, they tore it up saying that such things were a waste of time and threatened him with punishment. Later, they tried to console him by offering to discuss the drawing, but still pointed out the need to reflect on his behavior. The boy doesn't understand because he just wanted them to be proud of him. The protagonist guessed that behind these drawings were his diary entries. The entry for June 5th, 2115. He can't put up with it anymore. They had kept their promise. He painted a matchless picture and the promise they made to him last time. They beat him up. His fingers are broken. If they find out about it, they'll say again that he's not doing enough to get better. The entry for June 6, 2115. 
They always know who hatched the baby. Does it really matter that much? I mean, he just loves to draw. What's the big deal if he doesn't like to learn? Yet, he studies hard day in and day out and is still number one in his class in terms of grades. The kid didn't understand why he was worthless in their eyes. He will prove his worth and his parents will surely be proud of him. July 23, 2116. His entrance exam results came out and he became second in the city. The kid didn't know if he showed the results to his parents, would they be proud of him? Would they reward him and let him draw a little? But then he realized the answer was no. July 24th, 2116. It was raining outside. They kicked him out yelling about why on earth he wasn't one in town. They said it was because he was wasting his time painting. No matter how much he begged, no matter how much he apologized, they wouldn't open the door for him. He tore his voice down. His parents were disappointed in their son, and he no longer had any illusions about them. This rain had extinguished all his enthusiasm. The main character saw some sketched sheet that was torn. Entry for May 30th, 2122. He will become what his parents want him to be. Apparently, Fu Mu has been imprisoned for all of those seven years. But the protagonist wondered, but why is there a fragment missing here? He didn't even notice how Fumu was already standing in front of him. The boy didn't understand where he'd come from. After all, the parents who controlled him were obviously dead. His genius dexterity value is almost three times that of the main character. And they're too close. He doesn't think he can beat him in a fight. The knife of family harmony appeared in his hands. But Fumu grabbed his wrist with which he was holding the knife. This guy's got some serious power. But of course, he doesn't think of giving up so easily. There's definitely no other way out. Does this guy really want to do this? Fumu swung his fist. The guy screamed for that heartless bloody son of a bitch to stop hitting him. Could it be that this guy is out for revenge on the protagonist? Yang Huang noticed that Fumu had stopped and realized that this was his chance. The protagonist kicked him in the leg. Thanks to that, he had a chance to escape from here. But this guy kept up. Fumu grabbed his arm. Yang Huang replied that he knew that Fumu didn't mean to chase and kill him. The system reported that his mind was normal. But the boy doubted that was really the case. Perhaps he was still in control. But how can that be, since his parents are definitely dead? Maybe because of his low IQ, his body continues to obey his parents' orders. But this guy is definitely conscious of hearing the main character's voices. So he decided to try again. He told Sefumu to look at him carefully. The man asked if he was really sure he wanted to kill the only person left on his side. Tears appeared in his eyes. The guy suggested that Fumu probably didn't hatch fully. Therefore, the food was supposed to be the main character, but due to a mistake, he ate a skinny Dan Sin. Nutrition is an individual thing. If it is not enough, incubation will be incomplete. Isn't that what sets him apart from other geniuses? Like that's why he's still in control while retaining some of his consciousness. Fumu asked me to kill him. He grabbed his head and asked the teacher to kill him once more. If Fumo is still a controllable puppet, then he'll gladly do it. But if not, that changes things. He is grateful that fate brought them together and that he is now conscious. But he is no longer the same Sifu Mu. So he just begged the protagonist to kill him while he is still who he is. He wanted to die himself. Yang Huang asked the kid if he was afraid of death. The guy replied that he was really afraid of her. But even more than that, he's afraid to live like this. He asked his teacher to save him from this cursed life. In the end, the main character agreed to do it. But the knife stopped right in front of the shaking guy. The protagonist replied that Essie Fumu would sleep an eternal sleep. A dream in which his family lives in harmony and his parents cherish him. A dream that filled them with love for Fumu. Lying for the greater good, the rescue mission was accomplished. Fumu will sleep forever and get the love he deserves. This guy can sleep peacefully because no one will disturb his sleep. The protagonist has promised that no one will disturb him. He closed the boy's eyes and wished him sweet dreams. The number of viewers online was already 15628. Before, he didn't even feel bad when he killed monsters. But now that Fu Mu was begging for death, his heart was devastated. They read his diary together with the rogue and learned about his experiences, but none of them expected the ending to be like this. Is this really the end of the storyline? He even felt the humanity that is in every monster. Or maybe monsters are already more human than all of them. He also noticed a note of some sort. The system congratulated the player for obtaining a secret item called Sei Fu Mu Secret. Online viewers were already 17826. No one expected this guy to hide an item with limited action. This is definitely the last such item. The incubation city must have been discovered by now. He had heard that all such items were directly related to the plot. 
There used to be people who came across hidden items in the incubation city, but where did Esifumu get it from? But it's definitely not that simple, and there must be some conditions. He had seen that many people just lost Fumu without obtaining the hidden item. So there must be some special condition. Now the protagonist has realized what these drawings are. If that's the case, it all makes sense. The main character figured out why Fumu didn't lend itself to common rules. And he figured out the plot too. He wished sweet dreams to little Fumu. That child is definitely brave. And so the main character returned to the others. He said hello to them. Then she started killing them one by one. No one expected that this blasphemer was still alive. They all wished him dead, and this time they would not let him go. But the kid replied that they didn't need to be nervous, because he always came just for one thing. The parents immediately swooped in to kill him. Do they really think they can scare him with that too? The guy replied that they could certainly do that. After that he started running away from them. The parents shouted to their children to grab him and kill that rat. Someone asked what the mission was all about, since he didn't understand anything at all. The system reported that the fast-walking talisman had been successfully obtained, and a mediocre speaker as well. This purge will only last 60 seconds. There's still time, so it should hold. So now he decided to use the fast-walking talisman. Someone made the point that this was a circus, not a mission. It was like this dude was telling them to try to catch him if they could. The tension abruptly changed to hilarity. One would think, what's all this chat room craziness? And it turns out the rogue is online again. The mission is indeed difficult, but this talisman has a time limit after all. What's he going to do when he runs out of time? Of course, he has taken into account time constraints, which is why he is leading them to the exit of the incubation city. Tang Xin wrote in his diary that he had tried countless times to get out of the city, but each time he returned to it again and again. But no one knew how it could have happened in the first place. It looked like he'd gotten lost. Apparently the exterior of the city has some secret that misleads people and helps keep geniuses in check. The guy made it to the one place that had too many lanes. He didn't even realize where so many roads even came from. The system reported that the speed charm was almost expired. Only 20 seconds left. He should definitely hurry up. The system reported 15 seconds left. He turned around and noticed that he was still being chased by those geniuses. 10 seconds to go. Time's almost up. He thinks he's behind the genius craze enough. The system reported that the speed talisman had expired, so it wished him good luck. Someone wrote that the prop's time was up and he couldn't escape. There was some discussion in the chat room about how someone thought this guy acted quite selfless for choosing to take his life, but to show them all this. Someone munch reminded them that this newcomer was a caller that had already fooled them more than once. So they decided to observe, so they wouldn't talk about his death without proof. The boy decided to sit down for he was very tired as he ran but he was already surrounded by the parents of the geniuses. The protagonist greeted them and asked if they wanted to cut off his head or just rip out his heart. Or, or maybe they want to eat it piece by piece. They elevated the protagonist. Then they started beating him up. The parents rejoiced, for this rat was finally dead. He would be honored to be food for their children. It's a chance for the children to climb to the top. But the kid didn't see it that way. He grabbed the man's shoulder and asked what they were talking about. He asked to be told so he could laugh off that too. He started threatening the man. The other parents didn't understand how this rat was still alive. Wasn't he supposed to be food for their babies? The man wanted to ask how he ended up here, but the guy didn't let him finish his sentence and killed him immediately. They all stared dumbfounded at this picture in response to which the guy asked what was wrong with their faces. Didn't they agree on what they were going to do with him? Or if they changed their minds? It doesn't matter what they wanted anyway. They're killing their own children's wishes. How can a man who doesn't respect other people's wishes Expect to fulfill his own. The parents began to resent that this vile rat even knew. Parents' wishes are paramount and should be forgotten. They want their children to become geniuses. They want them to rise to the top. Parents are willing to pay any price to make this a reality. The boy inquired what they were doing to accomplish this. He suggested that they beat and scolded, harassed the desires and killed their health. What a shame that their children's minds are shackled by strings of control. Obviously, he is incapable of doing anything until they pull one of the strings. Rather, they do it not for the sake of the children, but for their own vanity. To show off their accomplishments to others. It seems too hard for them to admit their own selfishness. Of course, this vile rat who didn't even have a mentor, has no idea how they think. They'll kill him, and use the protagonist's blood to launder his blasphemy. He thanked them for this discussion, even if it didn't lead to anything good. He pulled out his orator. 
He also announced to the parents that once their children were killed by other children, they would be the only ones left in this town. Their children would be better off without their parents, so they'd better kill each other. The system reported that this is a false judgment. The random event was successfully unblocked. The result was cognitive changes in the subjects. And after all, his talent only allows for a 50% chance of completing a random event. But if he adds that 50% to these guys, it could very well be considered a full 100%. He watched as the parents started killing each other, and if they died, their children would be the best. They just wished they could be the best parents. The boy listened about how they would be the perfect role models. The chat room was discussing exactly what the rogue's talent is. Is his spiritual index really that strong? Someone was even willing to buy the talent for 500,000 points. If he met him, he wouldn't even realize why he died. This is the first time they've seen someone use a talent with compulsion. But no matter how powerful this rogue is, he will surely be a target for many. He's also influencing so many people at the same time. But why doesn't he have any payoff? He didn't even know that talent could have a payoff. He had endured so much in the incubation city, and now he could die so easily. Would he really die because he used his talent on so many people? First, his vitals were normal, but then they started to decline. He fell to his knees. Still, he had hit rock bottom and still survived. Those parents are done too. A man reported that he had actually killed a man. His children must not find out about this unpleasant secret. He doesn't want to bother Teacher Yang, but could he not tell anyone about it? He didn't have his own weapon, so he had to borrow Teacher Yang's knife to kill him. He apologized for that. The damn system didn't even warn him that using a talent had consequences. But it doesn't matter. It's not like he's going to deny the system and let me do it. He can't do anything. He's really sorry. But who says only the dead can keep secrets? Its assimilation status has reached 100%. In the end, he hid in the egg, avoiding this blow. Even a rogue can't avoid being hatched. What a pity that sooner or later he will be killed anyway. Even if he doesn't hatch right away, his fate is still a foregone conclusion. But something was wrong. The live feed wasn't over yet. Maybe the dungeon was acting up. But suddenly his hand erupted from the egg, which stopped the knife. But that's just impossible. How can he continue to resist? If one finds oneself in an egg under normal circumstances, one is ruled by a giant egg to begin with. And then the parents. But he certainly doesn't fit the category of normal people. So he asked this man to die. Now they don't understand anything at all. Is it possible to retain consciousness after hatching? Among the pile of records of Incubation City players, there isn't a single person who managed to retain consciousness normally. What's wrong with this rogue in the first place? The system congratulated the player for completing the achievement, 20,000 online viewers. He was rewarded with 2,000 points. Players received a new recommendation for promotion, strongest of newcomers. He was ranked number one in the dungeon in terms of traffic. He also received the achievement of strongest rookie. As a reward, he was given plus 0.4 strength and agility, as well as plus 0.1 intelligence. He's fully hatched. The system rated him as legendary with high qualities or better. Now the onlookers were puzzled. He didn't just die, he doubled his attributes. This rogue is the real hero of Incubation City. There's a chance that with his new attributes, he feels like a newborn. But there was no mystery to it. So he decided to tell them too. He showed the very note from Fumu that said it was better he wasn't their child. I wish he hadn't been born. Fumu Tori off the last of his painting, tightly clenched it in his palm and accepted the situation. He felt sorry for himself. So those who knew him would protect against assimilation and would be immune to incubation. It also added two points to strength and agility. Intelligence went down by one point. True, there was a side effect. After assimilation was completed, he would become the boss of the incubation city, a subordinate of the genius stone. God said humans were not enough and created a variety of beings to diversify human evolution. When the fulfillment indicator reaches 100%, he will move to a higher level of life. But can he be sure that at the end of evolution, he is still him? Now the kid has divine protection, he's still himself. They thought Fu Mu was a normal incubation victim, but they didn't even realize that he could gift immunity. It's just perfect for an incubation city. But could the boss resist the assimilation effect? He showed them another painting. He suddenly had a hunch. No wonder newcomers to Dungeon Incubation City are so hard to get. The author of the plot of Incubation City is a true genius. 
no one thought the ending would be like this. It turns out that now Incubation City can be returned to play. He promises he won't screw it up this time. The dungeon still works, so they can go back into it. He can literally feel the emotions of those who have been watching him and Fumu all this time. Longing and hope for salvation. This painting is good. If you get a chance, he hopes to see you more of his work. He's so talented. He's so good. He asked Xiao Fumu to come out and talk to him. The guy asked to go out into his new life. How could he have such a stupid child? Does he really think they'll feed him if he doesn't get first place in the exam? They'll starve him to death and prepare for the next child. Is there a future in writing books? Other people's children stay up to study, and he's doing something else entirely. If a man sees that crap again, he'll break his arms. They do it for his own good. They know what it takes to want a guy to be successful. It may be hard now, but he will be grateful to them in the future. Does he really think his parents have anything to be proud of? They won't do it with the help of an idiot child who doesn't want to better himself. He was finally everything my parents wanted him to be. In the egg, he sees a nightmare. A nightmare he's been unable to get rid of his whole life. Thankfully, his shackles are broken and the nightmare is about to turn into a sweet dream. The sweet sleep of a newborn baby. Best finale. Fumu welcomed Teacher Yang, who was the nearly 18 millionth visitor to Incubation City. He was Fumu's only real guest. The system reported that the new book Tan Xin has been updated. The master of the incubation is Jie Fu Mu, who has been reborn. The root of the incubation city that controls him. After many attempts, he finally found freedom. Crawled out of the egg and came back to life. Now in this grotty, sinful city, the guide is his only hope. Guy asked if he would return to painting after the revival. Fumu asked teacher Yang to join him. The protagonist will do so with great pleasure. Fumo took the boy's hand and led the way. He's been having the same dream for a long time. He is confident that thanks to Teacher Yang's help, all is not yet lost in his realization, and he feels it. The protagonist called his dream too beautiful, and it is truly beautiful. Fumo realized that Teacher Yang would be leaving soon. It would have been nice if they had met a little earlier, because then he wouldn't have to go through so much disappointment. He wants to give the teacher one gift. The boy hopes that the main character will like it. He was introduced to Teacher Yang, it was a Kafu Mu Amu. Each copy of the Incubation City would have a protective sheath for him. When the guy needed it, he could just use it. This guy is the only salvation that Fu Mu has been waiting for so long. His will will forever protect Teacher Yang. This gift touched the protagonist. He hopes Fu Mu will be loved in the next life. The system congratulated the player for successfully depositing Incubation Capital. The live broadcast has been completed, so they will proceed with the counting. The total number of viewers reached 43,114 people. Maximum number online, 30,610 people. Total attendance rate 71%. Praise rate 96%. The difficulty of the dungeon is F Dungeon Exploration Percentage 97. Dungeon Completion Percentage is 100. Overall SS Grade. There is no doubt that he is a very capable newcomer to the dungeon. His successes have left no one indifferent. As a reward, he was given the Attribute Nutrient Solution, 5,000 points, and the title of Incubation Conqueror. At the moment, he had 17,334 points. The Nutrient Solution would increase his strength and agility by 0.5. It would also add 0.1 to his intelligence. Clean and easy to use, it would fill him with joy. The taste might be a bit unpleasant, but does it matter? Incubation Conquerors. The attributes were change resistance 20%, curse resistance 10%. He is the most promising of all the newcomers. According to this title, he was rated as a dedicated person who was willing to go all out. His title will be available to other players who are in incubation. He can also send a message of some kind. He sent the message that food destroys them on the outside and life corrodes them on the inside. The system asked if their rock wished to return to the real world or preferred to move to the game lobby. The player was found to have a bright desire to continue his life, so he was given another chance. He is given an item called Healthy Living. He is given new cells that help him to continue living. But from death still cannot escape, so sooner or later it will still catch up with him. He decided to spend 15,000 points on his life. It had been a long time since he had lived a healthy life. He made the trade for a healthy life. He now had 2,334 points left. The system reported that the transition to real life was in progress. There was a nurse walking towards him who didn't understand what he was thinking. 
He is still suffering from brain cancer, from which there is no cure. Only a miracle can help him, but there's no such thing. Some unknown guy appeared in front of him, and she asked if he might be a member of the patient's family. He shook his head. The nurse realized she was mistaken. She explained that the patient was now in the middle stages of brain cancer, but had been missing for about two days. She didn't understand why the current patients were so strange, how he could even leave so easily. She assumed that this patient was also hoping for a miracle. The only thing she doesn't understand is why such a rich country doesn't provide medicines for terminally ill patients. Her entire story was being listened to by this very patient. The girl asked if she had something on her face and looked embarrassed. The guy, however, replied that he thought her face was very cute, which is why he was looking at her. The nurse assumed he was hitting on her. Since she'd started working here, she'd seen a lot of peculiar patients. But this one's special. But suddenly she noticed that this patient was somehow familiar to her. The protagonist replied that he was probably the patient who would only be helped by a miracle. Many doctors gathered around him, discussing that this was a new wonder of the world. His cancer cells had strangely gone into a state of anabiosis. They stopped multiplying. In addition, his physical condition is much improved. They're seeing it for the first time. Perhaps they will be one step forward in the fight against cancer. A doctor has asked the protagonist to accompany his research institute. They wondered if his cells could be used to help other patients. Of course they won't experiment on him. But they didn't even notice Mr. Yang had disappeared. He was just standing there a second ago. The doctors couldn't understand how they could have missed it. He took out his phone and read the latest news about the suicide of the great champion who shocked everyone with his death 10 years ago. His parents took to the streets with slogans, value your children, give them more time to relax. From now on, they will not use their children to fulfill their own pipe dreams. This incident shook the whole country at that time. The kid who committed suicide was considered a great champion. But a week before the entrance exams, he killed himself without warning. He used paint to write second place on his face. And on his chest, he wrote, I hate you. On his back, he had the word sorry, and then he hanged himself. The incident attracted public attention. Parents reconsidered their views on their own children. However, not all parents have changed for the better. Some of them only became more careful. According to the parents, they did the right thing on the child's psyche, left much to be desired. Even if their child died, the parents are not affected in any way. The main character even remembers his name. His name is Zixin. Surprisingly, that child turned out to be Fu Mu. The guy finally realized what the copy was all about. Apparently, they're not that simple. He arrived at the old cemetery. When he arrived at the grave, he noticed a man and a little girl. The man told Xiao Lo to help all these children, leaving a flower for each one. He didn't understand why the man didn't give flowers himself. The girl turned to the main character and asked what he was looking at. He apologized to her. After that, the guy left them. The girl also noticed that the guy looked very familiar. She assumed that it was the same scammer. When he came to the right grave, you saw two parents there. This was Zi Xin's grave. They had a dream about something, and now it was so scary. They apologized for putting so much pressure on the kid. Their son was the most well-mannered kid they'd ever known. But it was too late. He doesn't have to forgive them. After all, his parents did him a lot of harm. In the future, they will do everything possible to ensure that such a tragedy does not happen again. The boy waited until his parents left to go to the grave himself. Teacher Yang came to see Fumu. He hopes the kid will look like a dandelion in his next life. He's free now. Suddenly, he heard a voice so familiar to him calling him Teacher John. The guy thought it was Zi Xin. But the boy replied that the teacher was mistaken. He's not Si Xin, but the truth of the matter is that he's a lot like him. That's why whenever he moves here with his parents to clean graves, Zi Xin's family is scared of him. He noticed this kid's family, and he rarely socializes with other people. His parents decided to go, they can still hang out here. Also, his mom gave him water in case he got thirsty. The kid thanked his parents. The protagonist didn't understand why they were so similar. The boy offered the protagonist a drink but he refused and explained that he still had to lay flowers for his friend, so he would leave immediately. But the guy insisted because he was bought an extra bottle by sheer luck. If the man is okay with it, they can make the exchange. Yang Dang asked what he wanted. The boy asked to be given dandelions. He thinks they are very interesting. The man handed him the last bouquet and wished him luck. The boy thanked him for the dandelions, and the main character said goodbye to him. Harmony in the family. The love of his parents. He's got it all to himself now. The protagonist thinks Fu Mu was just like that. It's a beautiful sight. He should definitely be free now.
His parents behind him began to dissolve. The boy said goodbye to Teacher Jan, after which the dandelions scattered. A few days later, it was time to return as his healthy life was coming to an end. The system reported that the player Yang Deng had successfully activated the copy. It asked if he wished to enter the game lobby. The man replied that he did. He immediately disappeared from the room. The system reported that they were expecting a round of applause from the crowd as the rogue reappears on stage. No one expected the crook to log in. I mean, he's been missing for half a month. He's been enjoying reality for a while now. All at once, my wife and I started running to the crook. People started asking the scammer to share his skills. They wanted to buy his skill. He must have gotten into some kind of wrong copy world. The boy didn't understand why there were so many people here. Someone's hand touched him and the guy felt like someone wanted to kill him. The doctor touched him. He finally found the crook. The guy himself had no idea who it was. He can't dodge that punch, so he'll have to attack. A knife appeared in his hand. He jumped away from the doctor after attacking him, whereupon the protagonist assumed that he was the very same doctor. He recognized that this kid was pretty good and patient. It seems like the protagonist is capable of harming him. Li Chin admitted that he had overestimated himself. A wound like this won't break him. Yang Dong remarked that this guy is very intimidating. He inquired as to why the doctor was looking for him. Li Chin replied that he just wanted to be friends. He also asked if he needed a reason to make friends. The boy noticed that he had no weapon. He assumed that maybe the sharp stabbing weapon that had just flashed before his eyes was just an illusion. The others wondered what the crook would choose. He must not dare refuse. Besides, the doctor is under a lot of pressure, so who knows what else he's capable of, since everyone expects him to be fearful, so he can't let them down. The guys made a point of being aware of his property panel. His talent is the words of the spirits. The system reported that his ability had been disclosed. Identification complete. He was given a player panel doctor. He has divine sight and can see details that other people are unable to see. He has a special destiny. If the amount of power changes, his life changes. The first and second secret powers were inaccessible. He belongs to the tarot. Strength was 5.2. Dexterity was 4.9. Intelligence was 1.7. The system said he's a real Superman. But why not hurry up and try to get into the next copy? They knew the doctor was very strong. But they didn't think he was that strong. No one expected anything else from him. Looks like the tarot targeted him for a reason. But no one understood what life-altering meant. The doctor wanted to kill him. The doctor's skills were far above the protagonist. The doctor uses his mental abilities when he acts. He certainly won't be able to dodge it. The doctor almost stabbed him, but it was the wall that hit him. He remarked that it was very interesting. He also laughed. This scammer really got lucky. They arrived too quickly. She only saved his life because she was tired of watching the doctor's stupid abilities. The man told Xiao Lo not to be rude. The boy realized that this girl had saved him, but it's true because she's the coolest one here. As it turns out, this man's name is Zhang Yi, and this is his adopted daughter who will be summoned by Zhang Luo. Mr. Yi was pleased at this acquaintance with the rogue. Yang Dang also introduced himself and thanked him for the rescue. The boy remembered these men who had been in Anlin's cemetery. They didn't even expect to see each other in that cemetery. I guess it was fate. The girl praised his memory. The protagonist wondered why they had saved him. In fact, the girl likes tough people like him. Despite his outward weakness, he still doesn't give up. The man asked her not to point fingers. They had recently found themselves in the same copy. But their situation was somewhat unusual. Since no one wanted to team up with them, Shaolo fumed that the fact was that they were simply too weak for her and her father. She also asked the man not to say that again, or she would take offense. Zhang Yi replied that she was just joking, and the main character replied that he too was just about to get into the new copy. He asked what copy they wanted to get into. The man decided to pass on the information to the protagonist. It was a copy for three E rangs. It's called a society label. A society where there is no room for secrets. Every person who's pirouetted since birth. Your life is a live feed for others to watch. Anyone who watches their life for more than 30 minutes can hang a certain label. People are perfection sought after by others. They have high status, but inferior people are forever reviled. This copy looks interesting, but if they unite, it will be a total disadvantage to him. The girl asked if he didn't believe them. She had just spent 5,000 points to save that unscrupulous him. The man replied that at least it was good that he had at least thought about it. So she should keep quiet. The guy didn't know what they were doing in the copies. In this deadly battle for survival, no one would take pity on each other. The man decided to show him the panel. 
Instructor Zhang Wai. He is willing to help others and wants to teach as well as educate others. A good-natured person who is always willing to help. The first and second secret ability are not available. He has no affiliation with anything. His strength is 2.1, dexterity 1.7, intelligence 1.5. The system reported that he is a pretty good copy person who always helps newcomers. Good-natured and won't leave anyone in trouble. This man has a rather interesting assessment. The girl also decided to open her panel, Calculator Zhang Lo. She was a very capable girl in school who was admired by everyone time and time again, but is it even necessary? Who helped her in her education? She seems to have a real talent for calculations, or she herself as a calculator. The first and second secret ability are unavailable. She also has no affiliation. Strength 1.5, Dexterity 2.2, Intelligence, 1.9. She is a 99 novice lord and earned second place and was on the bench. The girl was showing pretty average performance and what a feeling while doing so. After all, she was once one of the best in the school. It's best to put all those doubts about her aside. Yandong laughed with Togo that she was the genius of the school. She told him to shut his mouth. He apologized for that. She told him to finally shut up, but her father shut her mouth. He reminded her again that she should not be rude. The guy also showed his panel. He also asked if they knew why the doctor attacked him. He himself doesn't even realize it. This is all because of the fact that he is a clear threat to the rookie cellular lord. The guy didn't realize what kind of rookie lord this was in the first place. It turns out he doesn't even know anything about it. This girl is the second contender for the position of the 99th ruler of the newcomers. She decided to tell him about it. Copia conducts an evaluation every three months on the novice lord, who is selected according to best performance. Once his points exceed 3,000, he can become a contender. Whoever has the most points at the end of three months will be the Rookie Lord, and will also receive many rewards. Since the competition for the title of Rookie Lord never stops, the current Lord always receives the most attention. The Doctor has the same stats as the protagonist, but in the copy, he's looking to increase his powers in tarot. That's exactly why he wanted to kill the guy. He's like a rival to him. After all, the major candidates have already joined somewhere, and everything is known about them. But the guy is a new headache for them. If there are any more questions in the future, he can refer to her dad. Daddy's talent allows you to learn a lot about the copy. If he doesn't understand something, he's happy to help figure it out. The man touched his head. It was as if a flood of information was pouring into his head. Jan Dun thanked him. Zheng Lo said that they shouldn't waste about time, and they should already move out. Also, Mr. Yi had something to give. This is an item called the Tears of a Devotee. Its rank is F. He can leave the copy at any time, return to the game lobby. After the traitor comes out, he will start shedding his bitter tears. As soon as a tear falls on him, there will be an opportunity to escape. But this opportunity will only come once. The man gives the item to the main character because he believes he will use it correctly. But he also still wanted to ask for something. He asked for Xiao Lo's protection. This won't be a problem for the protagonist. People discuss the fact that the scammer teamed up with someone. They also wondered if the instructors had decided to cheat the newcomer. Almost all the rookies who fall for the instructor are dead. He's not such a nice man. The question was something else. Would it even be possible to cheat the cheater? If he didn't die at the hands of the doctor, he could escape from the instructor too. Another player touched him and told him that this family likes to cheat newcomers. They almost tricked him too, but he managed to get away in time. With them he will only find his death. The girl rebelled, for how dare he speak like that. His father was kind enough to teach him strategies, gave him information on workarounds, and he shows it like this. If this is his gratitude, he is only a kind reminder that a scammer can be victimized at any time. The boy brushed his arm off his shoulder. He made the point that people are too mean. You shouldn't talk so low about people. He is wrong to disbelieve these words. Everything will be fine, as they will successfully complete this copy. And they're gonna feel bad about not getting in. He and daddy will show them where they belong. The man called the protagonist Uncle Yang and asked him not to make noise with her. The guy asked it was better to call him brother already, but he can only dream about it. It will call him little brother. In this copy, he's worse than she is. The system asked all players if they wished to enter a copy. They answered that they did. The system listed all the information Jiang had given him. And? The time in the copy is five days. The live feed is being activated. The current number of observers of the live broadcast is 17. Everyone immediately started discussing the fact that the crook entered this copy, and he seems to be a rich man. He woke up to a shout that the esteemed Mr. Yang had already slept for nine hours. 
He has to get up to take a shower. Someone kept repeating the phrase and he thought it was an alarm clock. It was too loud. Well, his hand touched something on his tongue. He immediately removed his hand and saw the maid. Her face was half disfigured. The maid replied that since he was awake, he asked to go to the restroom. She is happy to listen to the gentleman and a system window appears above her head. He saw the labels that were over this girl. It is among the top 10 best maids. Top 10 most beautiful girls. Old fashioned and cruel. She has 67 points. Even though he's not an appraiser, a beautiful girl is apparently about the second part of her face. Or perhaps it refers to the whole face. She asked the gentleman to close his eyes, for she wanted the girl to wash his face. He smelled blood. There was even some hair residue on this mask. He told the girl to leave him alone, for today he wanted to wash himself. He saw the chat message that something was definitely going to happen now. I mean, that's ridiculous. The girl thinks the master needs her. The boy noticed that her voice had become very strange. He also wondered why they didn't look like master and servant, but more like partners. Or maybe she's just pushy and servant-like. Still, he decided to take the risk. Mr. Yang wondered if she was questioning his decisions. She shouldn't make him repeat himself again. The guy thinks she's just testing what behavior would be considered available. He also added that otherwise she should know what to expect. And the master's order cannot be challenged. After all, she had agreed and would go to work in that case. If he wanted something, he should just call her. No one expected anything else from a con man. There will be a lot of interesting things in the Serbian copy. They will definitely not be bored. He also noticed that for some reason her points had decreased. She now had 66 points. He wondered if this was a point dropping. He also remembered that the introduction had said something to that effect. Their life is a live broadcast. Anyone who observes their life for more than 30 minutes can pin a certain label on them. The maid's glasses have changed, proving that she is being watched. He also had the labels, a man of the elite, a perfect creator, and an overbearing person. Also, the kid had 95 points. He noticed that his points and labels hadn't changed much. He didn't seem to have lost any points this time. Yang Dang decided to watch others to assess exactly how this whole system works. If he's not wrong, the chip will help him monitor the lives of others. He decided to go to the source of the voice in which Xiao Lu could be heard. Would she really have to scrub toilets now that she was a maid? She had a sword in her hand. The girl threatened to chop her head in two. If this girl, who only has 32 points, doesn't obey her orders, she'll just die. The labels she had were that she is talkative, has a rebellious nature. She is also a maid. Xiao Lu had 32 points. The maid shattered that sword with ease. Now she realized that there was definitely something wrong with this copy. The maid also grabbed her by the neck. She lifted her up. She asked Yang Huan why not help him. The guy intervened and told her to let her go. The maid replied that this piece of trash, who had only 32 points, did not obey her orders. This is her concern, so the master must not meddle in her affairs. This maid seems to think that he is no threat to her. The guy doesn't understand what the matter is, because he repeatedly emphasized his demands. There's a possibility that they're all so easily defined. He seems to have realized it's all about labels. He's not going to get involved in the maid's business. She, on the other hand, thought that it was unfortunate that Mr. Yang was underestimating her. It would be good if he didn't notice anything further. It is the maid who wishes for Xiao Lu to die. How she loves to watch this kind of powerlessness and attempted struggle. She let out her last moan, which is filled with despair. It's the most beautiful note. They started discussing. Then would the calculator give up his life so easily that you weren't even going to use your abilities? He thought the rogue would prove more disposable. Who would have thought he would abandon the girl? Since he doesn't want to save her, the rogue doesn't seem to care about labels at all. He didn't waste his money watching it. In her eyes, tears even appeared, and it asked Mr. Yang to look at her. Suddenly, she let go of Xiao Lu. The guy replied that he didn't like what the maid was doing, but those 66 points of hers are starting to annoy him. She should have been quieter. The boy wondered why she hadn't even closed her eyes. Luckily for her, he is a gentle and reasonable man. He decided to help her out a little. That mistress maid had better get some rest and stop making noise. The number of people online was already 4,379 people. He thought that the rogue would let the calculator calculate or die. But who knew he was so good at acting? If it wasn't for the rogue, the calculator would be dead by now. Even though she is the lord of the rookies who are in second place. But she was powerless against such a thing. This is a very interesting live broadcast. I can't help but pause for breath at the tense moments. The calculator wondered if he didn't have marvelous talents. He replied that he probably did. 
one of the talents of the calculator, turns off in hiding information. It's most likely digitization. She could also use that ability to communicate with him through telepathy. Just as he was about to make his move, he heard her voice in his head. She said that she was fine, so he shouldn't take any chances. Since the maid dared to behave like that in front of the master, there must be some reason. She suggested we act out a scene. The system congratulated the players for successfully implementing their own plan. They have overcome one of the E-rank difficulties and are reaching the fifth level. Their actions in the copy can't remain secret, so she suggested at least the talents be hidden. They would communicate mentally. She didn't understand how she could become a maid in a society of labels. Why exactly he had become a noblewoman? The boy thought she had mistreated people. She was angry about what he said, but seemed to understand the gameplay of this copy. Thanks to her talent, the blade was transformed. But then it melted. The labeling society has its own rules. The one with the most points is able to control the people with the fewest points. She wondered how he'd gotten to that point so quickly. After all, he had run into problems earlier too. He had an idea for a way to test the rules. He ordered the girl to take a broom and clean the room. This room must shine. If there's still a body lying here in 10 minutes, she's finished. She didn't like being treated like that. But the system reported that she received an order from a noble who has 95 points. So she must fulfill the order as soon as possible. Otherwise, she will be punished. She must clean up the room and remove the body. She has 10 minutes to do so. If this is his test, he should do nothing more of the sort. She looked at her labels, and now she now had vulgar garbage. She also now had 31 points. She started asking who else here is vulgar. She is the great Zhang Luo, so how dare they say such things at her? Her glasses went down by one again. The guy immediately covered her mouth. He decided to help her. The guy noticed that his score had also become 94 points. He immediately kicked her and asked if she hadn't heard his order. Using telepathy, she asked how dare he even do that. The guy asked what she was offering then, but she didn't say anything. She has nine minutes left or the girl will die. She did start following that order after all. Nothing fun is happening yet. In fact, this corpse is light, so there's no problem. But still, why are the rules so strict? Jiang Lo and him are players who also have labels, similar to a creature of copies. Furthermore, he can give her orders that are beyond his own capabilities. In that case, wouldn't they be perceived as monsters in the copy? In his hands a new book of Tangshin appeared. The label society is the user of the net. Its talent is evaluation and orders. There are no laws here, only constant surveillance. If he is a good person, life will be carefree. But if he is enslaved, it will be difficult. Society is divided into scum and nobility. Net users evaluate it by watching for 30 minutes. Good people bask in glory, bad people drown in orders. Survival of the fittest. To get more points, you have to behave obediently. It turns out that the cooler the label, the higher the person is in status. And depending on certain integrations, people fall into different categories. He thinks there are only three sections. The first section, 1 to 33 points. The second, 34 to 66 points. And the third, from 67 to 99 points. Some are considered the lowest, and some are considered intermediate but there are also the highest. He cannot control behavior, but he can give orders for the performance of certain tasks. These are the limitations. He thinks the maid went against him because of his own labels and she lacked power on the guy's part. They should try changing the labels. He asked the girl if she had noticed anything unusual about the room. There was a human skull. He suggested that there are no laws in this society. Suddenly they heard someone coming. She begged Mr. Liu not to give her away. She doesn't want to die. She'd been with him for so long, so why wouldn't he trust her? She was doing the right thing. He can check her records where she didn't betray him. He called her a girl of indecent behavior who has 21 points. How dare she even dare yell in front of him? That girl should do as she is told. It's not his fault she has to go there. He will send her to Mr. Yang, for they might get some good out of her. The girl fell down and saw that she started to bleed. She started to worry about her baby. They've been together so long. Why doesn't he believe her? Is it all about the damn labels? I wonder if he'd really kill her over something so trivial. He's not even human. He called this girl the dregs of society. He'll let her go. But will the rest of the people accept her existence? He'd only hurt the others if he kept her alive. This man was labeled righteous, impressive, and a promoter of positivity. He had 91 points. He would not leave who this child was from, but certainly not him. 
By her death, he is only cleansing this world. He thanked the online users for their support. Liu Zhang will definitely keep his promise and sentence this wench to death. Let his neighbor Yang decide what to do with her. He asked the gentleman to exercise his creativity and imagination. It seems that not all high-ranking people are good. There are some scoundrels among them. She asked the guy what he would do. If he doesn't want to answer, the girl asked that she do it. But the fellow replied that he was willing to serve this high-ranking guest. No one expected the rogue to bow to Liu Zhang. Why did he even come to this copy if he worships everyone? It's not going to end well. Someone thinks this girl is finished. The fans of the cheater asked to show them all their imagination. One hopes that the cheater will think of something and not say anything unnecessary. Now he is in the company of these labels. Plus, he's being watched closely by online users. He has no margin for error.